There are a number of strategies for trying to accommodate or live with flooding. Uh, one is do nothing. That's a, a perfectly uh, possible or plausible uh, option. We could just do nothing, just wait for it to happen and uh, weep silently after it's happened. Second possibility is we can try and remove the flood. So we can build walls along our rivers, we can put them into concrete tunnels, we can build additional uh, channels to allow the water to, to, to go on uh, past the areas that we value. Um, so that's one strategy. The other strategy is we can try and pay for the damage afterwards. So we can let the flood happen and we can say to the people who were affected, oh, I'm terribly sorry, but we'll give you some money in, in recompense. Now those are, those are different ways of, those latter two are different ways of protecting against flooding. So the choice of what we do, actually how we do it, uh, or whether we can do it in some people's views, is, is really a political one. We make a choice. And we make a choice in very difficult circumstances, particularly when we try and protect against the actual flood. We put the walls in or the bypass channel or whatever, because normally the effect of that is to route the flooding from one place to another. So we might protect an area perhaps of high value houses, because that's going to give us the biggest return on our money, the biggest bang for our buck, and we'll route the water on down, and it might well be that further on downstream there are some houses which are of, or, or, or other properties, of lower value, and their experience is going to be worse as a consequence. Now, logic tells us that uh, perhaps that's not acceptable, but one of my lectures, uh, my second lecture, is going to explore in practice how that actually works. And we're still doing those kind of things. We're still building big, what are called structural schemes. The Thames Tideway Tunnel is an interesting example, not actually particularly in, uh, in relation to flooding, although it will have a flood protection implication, but we are still building large engineering schemes, uh, which perhaps have peculiar and counterintuitive socio-economic consequences.